John and I farm here at Tirao. We have a 63 hectare dairy farm and calf rearing unit called Top Notch Calves. So we rear five to six thousand calves a year, split between the autumn and the spring. A mixture of dairy heifers, Frisian bulls, uh, white face heifers and some wagyu uh, cross calves. So this spring we have 3,200 calves on. We're currently weaning and you can see the Frisian bulls in the background. These calves have just gone through our scale set up, our way station, and we're weaning at 75 kilograms. Um, what we do with our weaning process is calves get weighed and separated, and then over the next week they get weaned off milk. We try and keep everything else the same, so if these calves are outside, they'll stay outside being moved from paddock to paddock. The only thing that will change is their milk will be reduced half a litre per calf per day. If the calves are inside, they will continue uh, to stay inside and be weaned off milk over a week. Then they'll stay another three to four days inside before being moved outside. So in regards to weaning off milk, the calves get four litres per day per calf and then we drop it down half a litre per calf per day. So day one of weaning they'll get three and a half litres, day two three litres down until the last feed's half a litre which they just suck up so quickly. But they need to be slowly weaned off milk to allow them to increase their meal and pasture intake. Yes, all our calves get ad lib meal while they're on milk and um, access to fresh water and if they're outside they'll have access to clean pasture as well. And once they're weaned, fully weaned off milk, they'll get no more than two kilos of meal per calf per day and ad lib grass. We do weigh them 10 days after they've been weaned just to double check uh, that none have fallen back below the weaning weight. If, if any have, and the odd one can do, if for example it was born a big calf uh, and it hasn't coped with weaning, then we will pop them back on milk again for another two weeks. But generally they cope pretty well if you do it gradually. So the Wagyu and the uh, crossbred dairy heifers would get weaned at 70 kilograms, or we start the weaning process at 70 kilos. Um, all our Frisians are 75. Uh, the number one tip um, would be to just change one thing at a time and do it gradually. So when you're weaning off milk, just do it gradually and make sure that's the only thing you change. Calves are still babies and they will react if too much has changed in their environment and uh, it'll reduce their growth rates and their ability to cope with the stress of weaning. People should avoid major changes during the weaning process. For example, if your calves are still inside, uh, don't put them outside to wean them. Keep them inside, just reduce the milk. If the calves are outside, continue with your normal regime. Feed them at the normal time. Um, just the only thing you'd change is the amount of milk you're feeding them. The biggest weaning myth would be that it's better for the calves to stop the milk straight away. <laughs> now, uh, it's a myth all right because it's not better for the calves. That's quite difficult for the calves to handle. It's probably easier for the people, <laughs> but certainly not easier for the calves. Things need to be done gradually and they need to be weaned off milk over about a week's period.